open doors, when to pursue, and when to walk away. Great day, Attractive Thinker. It's great to be back with you. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Attractive Thinker TV show. I am Tony Hatton, the Attractive Thinker, CEO and founder of Tony Hatton Productions, where we support you in transitioning from where you are to where you desire to be so that you can create a happier, healthier, more meaningful life in 6 to 12 months. You know, I know you hear this question all the time, you know, deep down inside. Should I pursue it? Should I go? Should I do it? Is this a yes? Is this something that I should do? I know I get that question a lot. Is this something that I should do? Should I pursue it? Every now and then you feel it deep down in your heart. Should I do this? That's the big question. Everybody wants to know, is this for me, right? So should I pursue it or should I walk away? You know, I share with my clients. They say, well, what if I make the wrong decision? The only wrong decision that you can make is the one you make without your heart in it. Do you realize, again, it comes from, you know, I'm a big believer. I'm a vision expert. I'm a big believer on developing vision, correcting perception. So I honestly believe that it's your perception when you're going into it. What is it that you're pursuing? What is your perception of it? Are you going into this as a victor or a victim? What do you mean, Tony? Are you pursuing it, not believing that you can have it? Think about that. We do that all the time. We say things out of our mouths that sound good, but deep down in our hearts, we don't believe it. So see, that could be one of the reasons why we're starting and stopping and second guessing and questioning that voice inside of us that says, should I pursue it? Is this for me? Is it mine? Can I really have it? You know, open doors. Should I pursue it or should I walk away? Well, are you a victim or are you a victor? Is it something that's aligned with your purpose? Is it something that's really going to not just bless you, but add value to the lives of others? Is it aligned with your purpose? Are you passionate about it? Is your heart in it? Do you eat, sleep, and breathe it? Think about that. All of those things that I just mentioned should be tied into what it is that you're pursuing because it's those things that will keep you pursuing it in the midst of adversity. When you face the opposition, do you realize the thing that you're pursuing is not a uh, void of opposition and challenges and frustrations. You know, that's why perception is so important. You're either going to enter into this pursuit as a victim or a victor. Because when you face challenges, victims run away. When you're faced with opposition and frustration and disappointment and haters and people that are talking about you, and things that you hear that you shouldn't hear about you when you're pursuing something. A victim, when that victim faces that, they run away. They tuck their tail and run away because they can't handle the pressure. But a victor, they have a different kind of perception about what it is that they're pursuing. And they know, a victor knows that challenges and obstacles are their food. They know that these are the things that fuel them, that keep them going. Ask a victor, can they do something? Ask a, or, or say to a victor that they can't do something and see what happens. It's a whole different perception than if you say that to a victim. You can stand in front of a victim, a person who has a victim mentality, and say you're nothing, you'll never be nothing. I don't even know why you're pursuing that. Nobody in your family's ever pursued that. You don't have the money. You're never going to get enough money to pursue that. Who told you that you could have that? And the victim will cave in, tuck their head, cave, cross their shoulders, bow their head, and just crawl into themselves because they don't have the correct perception of themselves first. See, that's the thing. Everything goes back to you. Anything is possible. Anything that you desire, you can have. It all goes back to you. Why do you want it? Do you, believe, do you really believe you can have it? Are you a victim or a victor? Are you saying that, yes, I, I can have it, I'm going to pursue this, but deep down inside in your subconscious, you're saying, you'll never make it. You'll never make it. Nobody's going to help you. Nobody's going to believe in you. You aren't tall enough. You aren't short enough. You aren't fat enough. You aren't skinny enough. You aren't light enough. You aren't dark enough. You aren't rich enough. You aren't poor enough. You know, nobody's going to help you. So what do you do with all of these things that you wrestle with, should I say, that we wrestle with? Every day. What are you going to do? How do you handle that? What is before you? How bad do you want it? 
You know, a lot of times the things that we pursue calls for growth and self-development. This is what I've learned. And I've been in pursuit of several things. I've accomplished several things. One of the things that I've learned is, it's not the thing that I'm pursuing as much as it is the state that I'm in and what I'll be in when I get it. That's the most important thing. It's not the destination, it's the journey, who you become in the process. Are you willing to be developed? It's not the door. It's not the thing that you're pursuing. The question is, can you handle the process of pursuing it? Can you handle what it takes to have anything? Are you willing to stand while the winds of life are blowing? And you're holding on to your hat and you're holding on to your coat, waiting for the light of day. Believing in yourself and understanding that you may not know where you are in this pursuit, but God does and that he'll never leave you. That's the perception of a victor. So my question to you is not should you pursue or should you walk away? Are you a victim or are you a victor? Because victors don't quit and victors possess the very thing that they're pursuing because they have the correct mindset going in and coming out. So it calls for self-assessment. Here at Tony Hatton Productions, we're really big on self-development, self-awareness, and self-assessment. Because these things are what we need to have in place in order to accomplish our life's work in the earth. Should you pursue what it is you're pursuing? Ask yourself, it, why do I want it? Am I wanting it for the right reason? And after I get it, then what? After I get what it is that I'm pursuing, then what? Is it adding value to my life and the lives of others? Because our gift not only makes room for us, it adds value to the lives of others. You know, should I pursue it or should I walk away? Should you walk away from something that's not aligned with your purpose? Of course. Because you know why? It's costing you. Anything that is not adding value to your life is taking value away. Your time, your creativity, your energy, your passion, your spirit, your character, your peace. Are you willing to give all of that up in pursuit of something that you're not even supposed to have? You want to be lined up with the way you're wired to show up in this world. You're wired a certain way. You're wired to desire a certain thing. You're, you're manufactured to pursue and produce and fit a certain way in life. And that's what you want to pursue. That's the open door that's available to you. And you wonder why so many doors are closed. Maybe they're not for you. Closed doors are not a negative thing. People think closed doors are a negative thing. They're not. They have a purpose in our lives. They keep things away from us that will contaminate us, contaminate us, drain our energy. Keep us farther from our purpose. Keep us... Our vision distorted so we really can't see what it is that we're pursuing. So closed doors have a greater purpose, have a great purpose, just like open doors do. Should you pursue or should you walk away? Ask yourself, is what I'm pursuing lined up with my purpose? Am I wired to do this, to have this, and how will I use it once I access it? You know, these are the questions that we have to ask ourselves. Mindset, am I a victim or am I a victor? Think about that. Only you know that. You're sitting here and you're watching this video. Think about that. What is it that you're pursuing? Assess it. Is it lined up with my purpose? Am I open, creative? Do I come alive when I think about it? Do I eat, sleep, and breathe it? Do you realize the things that you eat, sleep, and breathe are the things that you're wired to do in the earth? The things that you're wired to have, manufactured to have, that you'll flow in is so much easier? I know sometimes you may be addicted to the struggle. It's easy to get addicted to the struggle and think life is all about a struggle. But it's not all about a struggle. Do you realize your life can, all, all, can be all about a flow? Do you know what it feels like to go through life with ease? Do you know what it feels like to be excited to wake up in the morning? Do you know what it feels like to go to bed at night and anticipate the power and the greatness of another day? Not knowing who you're going to encounter or what's going to happen or if today is the day for abundance to just overshadow me. That is possible for you. I don't know where you are in your life. But no matter where you are in your life, you have the power to create what you want. You're in pursuit of something. We all are. 
Should you pursue it or should you walk away? The, the, the choice is yours. Are you a victim or are you a victor? Is it lined up with your purpose? Do you eat, breathe, and sleep it? How hungry are you for it? Can you look back in your life and see trails and traces and signs that that's supposed to be in your life? These are all the questions that we ask as victors because the only wrong decision you can make is the one where your heart isn't in it. So here at Tony Hatton Productions, we exist to support you in transitioning from where you are to where you desire to be so that you can create that happier, healthier, more meaningful life in 6 to 12 months. Yes, it is possible. Yes, yes, and yes again, it is possible. Don't ever think it's not possible. You are a fabulous, dynamic, amazing person with the ability to create and design and, and, and manifest the very thing that you desire. If you can see it in your vision, you can have that. I don't care what nobody says. Get out that box, that, that negative thinking, that, that limited thinking. Who told you you couldn't have it? Who? Another flesh person like you, another breathing person like you, you're on equal playing, this is an equal playing field, you're on level ground. It's yours. The works of your hands are blessed. You can think something and manifest it if you focus on it. That's how powerful you are. So should you pursue it or should you walk away? The choice is yours. What perception do you have of it? How is it adding value to your life? Is it really a desire of your heart? Can you live with it or can you live without it? These are the questions that we ask as victors. Here at Tony Hatton Productions, we support you in developing your vision and correcting your perception. Remember, it's not what you're going through. It's how you're viewing it. Think attractively.